looky looky, we're in volcano. Woohoo! Population 103. They gained three people. <laughs> This is why you join clubs. You get to see so many fascinating places that you've never heard of. And sometimes in this case, we've heard of Volcano, California. In fact, it's not that far from our home, but I've never had a reason or a purpose to come here. So I had no idea what I was missing out on. Come to find out it is quite the jewel. Do all in blue. So I definitely would like to know more about Volcano and how it started. So I'm going to look around and see what they have here and share it with you guys. Because let me tell you, as we drove through, don't blink your eyes, you'll definitely miss the town. All right, here we have Armory Hall, erected 1912. And right next to it, looks like Paul's getting some pictures of it too, but we've got a cannon. <laughs> Some cool little buildings. What is this one? And right across the street from the park is this cobblestone theater where we will be seeing some kind of theater event. And across the street from that is an amphitheater. Interesting. It's hard to believe with this little shrinky dink town that they have enough people to do stuff in this town like that. Got a little gallery, it's not open though, unfortunately. Very cool hotel. I hope it doesn't take too long for them to renovate it. It looks like it hasn't been closed very long. Okay, so Volcano is not very big. This hotel looks pretty cool though. It's Volcano Union Inn. That's pretty nice. Looks like it's got an outside seating area too. This is Chef Eric. This was absolutely amazing. So Tina and I shared, we both got uh, different dishes and then shared them between us. So I had ordered the uh, fried chicken and Tina ordered the grilled salmon. Yes. Knocked it out of the park. I'm not joking, I'm dead serious. Okay, I'm not just blowing smoke. Okay. <laughs> That's the best fried chicken I've had in my life. Oh, uh, thank you. Seriously. Yeah. The Union Inn, Volcano, California. Check it out. I'll put a thing right down here. Yes. Here's where to get a hold of them, right here. <laughs> there you go. Well, folks, it has been a fantastic weekend. Lots of traveling and touring the areas. Even though we live around here, there's things that we have never seen before. So that's been really cool. 
Today we're going to go to Kennedy Mines, so that'll be really neat. I'm going to share that with you too. It's my birthday, so here we go. started in 1860, but it wasn't until 1885 that it started to be successful. Why? Technology, primarily, and, and money. But if you're beating on a rock with a sledgehammer and a, and a chisel, you know, it takes a long time to get, make much of a hole. And you're using black powder. So during that period of time, they developed things like dynamite and cable and all that stuff. You can't heist something deep down with, with just rope. It would break. So all this stuff was developing during that period of time. And in 1884, it started to go. And I can't even imagine, I mean, the rocks go in here, crushes them as they go through. But really, look at the size of these nuts. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine trying to put those on. Here we go. It's gorgeous. Some steep stairs. Yeah, that's 
to have you use um, promote mm -hmm. the shepherd at first. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's all those of you who are here. Thank you. Where's John at 12? I have never walked on a trail before through a tour. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Well, for you to get the most out of it, you should run up and down it about five times. Yeah. These are actually the lockers that the men would use for after they got out of the mines. They would hang their clothes and let them dry. I like that kind of a style of a thing. Then they would walk to the end and go to the showers and take a hot shower. Where as they were showering, somebody would be going through their clothing, their shoes, their lunch boxes, anything, and making sure that there were no pieces of gold that was being stuffed anywhere and taken home. So, kind of interesting. Well, there it is. Three long days of touring, but it was so much fun, so worth it. So many cool places to see. If you want to check out this place, Kennedy Mines, here in Jackson, California, I'm going to put the website down there. That way you can take a look, plan a trip, see all these cool things. The area is so gorgeous. So many things to do in this town even. So you guys take care, have a great week, and I love you guys.